What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how I was able to get an RTX 3090 today. Now, this pertains to 3090, 3080, 3070, uh, especially the 3070 since that's coming out next Thursday on the 15th. So I don't care anymore if I give this secret away. I know a lot of people know about this already, but there's some out there that don't know how to do this. Now, I don't consider this botting because it's not you know, it's not buying for me, but it is kind of automated in a way. So with that being said, if you're wondering how you can get an RTX 3090, 3070, 3080, or anything in Best Buy right now, like the PlayStation 5 or Xbox, check this out. This is how you can get notified when something goes in stock. Now, um, uh, so you can see right here, NVIDIA came out about seven hours ago. They said that they're working on their stores and they're pretty much selling everything. And let me make this bigger for you. They're selling all the Founders Edition at Best Buy, and that's why they dropped it today. There was, it was in stock for a good, I would say, five minutes to ten minutes or so, but obviously it kept crashing and whatnot. But pretty much what this is saying is they're going to pretty much sell all their Founders Edition on Best Buy and some other website, but mainly Best Buy because of they're working on their website, right? Because it's trash anyway so with that being said here is what you need to do basically uptime robot is a website pinger if you would if you own a website and you need to know when it goes down this is what you use this for all right but at the same time there's a feature called keyword um pinging which what i'm gonna but what i'm about to show you right now so uh first thing you need to do is go to the website best buy this doesn't work with new egg and it doesn't work with the nvidia website for some reason i couldn't get it to work so let's say you want the rtx 3070 all right and then what we're gonna do is as you can see here release date is on the 15th we're gonna click on that and what you're looking for is this thing called coming soon so if i control f and I do coming soon, it's gonna see that right there. And then we're gonna copy and paste the link here. After we copied the URL from the website, let's go back to Uptime Robot. And then what we're gonna do is create a notification. So if you go to settings, I'm gonna go right here on the top right corner. I'm gonna add alert contact. And I'm gonna go with Pro SMS, which for the free version, you get 10 texts. But after that, that's it. So let's just go phone. But you can buy more if you want, if you run out. So I'm going to go this number here. Actually, let's go ahead and put my number because it's going to send a, um, a uh, like a confirmation. And I want to know only down events. I just want to know when something goes down, right? So create alert and then close. All right. And then I'm going to get a text message. All right, and I got the text. And now, and I actually jacked this up last time, you have to click this for you to run this. So click that. And then you're gonna type in the activation code. And then that's gonna alert it. I missed out on the first and second batch after doing this because I didn't press that play button. Now, if you want an email as well, you can also click this and that's going to email you. But the phone works so much better. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard. We're going to create a new monitor and we're going to call this keyword and we're going to type RTX 3070 and we're going to paste that URL. And then the keyword we're looking for is coming soon. You're going to make sure it's case sensitive. And then we're going to alert me when a keyword doesn't exist. And I want the interval to run every minute. And then right here, I'm going to check phone. That means notify me via phone and then create the monitor. But basically what this is doing, it's going to check Best Buy every minute for this keyword. Whenever it doesn't see this keyword, it's going to let me know. And that's game on. So let's go ahead and create the monitor and then close. Now, before you do anything else, make sure that the monitor is actually working. So press enter. And then you're going to see right here, it says it started. But what you're looking for is it saying keyword found. So make sure that this is green before you actually exit. So I'm going to wait for this to go. And there you go. Keyword is found. So that means that this is good to go. On the 15th, when this changes to add to cart, it's going to let me know 
and I'm going to be able to go click this and this is going to take me straight to that web page. But if you want, it is actually better to download the Best Buy app because that is how I was able to snag an RTX 3090 today by just spamming add to cart on the app. I gave up on the website because a lot of people are using the website. Go get the app and just spam add to cart as much as you can. Now, a couple of things that you can do to prepare yourself. Make sure you add your credit card number. Make sure you have your shipping address ready. And make sure you have signal. Because for me, I had to verify it twice. They sent me a code in my email. And I had to verify it with my bank that I'm purchasing this item. So... It was kind of scary because it took me a while to actually completely check out. So if you can help it, go ahead and set everything up. Put your name, address, all ready to go and Best Buy. So that when you do have it in the cart, that you are ready to go. And another tip before I go is when you're spamming here, just keep spamming it until you see only one item is allowed and then when you see that pop up, that means you have one in your cart and you can start your checkout process. Well, guys, I hope you all learned something new today. And I know this is such a pain to just get a simple graphics card. But unfortunately, it is 2020 and people are selling it on eBay. That is the unfortunate part of it. But I'm hoping by giving you guys this information, you would have a better chance on snagging that RTX 3070 next week.